Hey, good evening, everyone. This is the, the new update. It's been a long time since I've done an update on this, just simply because uh, I got a baby on the way, and this unfortunately has not become a priority. Uh, I ordered all the plumbing supplies, as you can tell, um, a little bit ago, and I actually ran into a problem where I didn't have the right couplings, and it just kind of I just I just didn't do anything with this for a while. So anyway, uh, let's uh, let's hit the ground running. I just got done, pretty much dry fitting everything. There's no water that's going to be put in this for the next couple days. It'll be tomorrow morning before I go back to Home Depot and get some cement. And uh, unlike the other couple videos, I have a flashlight this time around because the uh, yeah the light the lighting's fine on this side of the room, but there's just yeah, I got I got nothing. I got a little lamp over in the corner. So anyway, all right, let's check this out. Uh, for you guys that haven't seen the first couple videos, I'm doing a 125 gallon wall build. Um, this is all I, I I did this all myself. This is this little structure will be here when the entire house is long gone. So I I have the, I have that built to last. Um, I'm gonna drywall this off. Um, I have to call a favor into my brother-in-law to to finally have the electrical tied in. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do some lighting inside there. That's what those wires are down here for. Um, I need this whole thing ground faulted. But uh, yeah, let's go into the room. I got a whole room dedicated to this. Um, yeah, that's up to code. <laughs> um, 65 gallon refugium. I'm gonna tie that in uh, after the fact. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. So I got a got a ghost overflow uh, by Synergy. Uh, here, I'll show you. I got uh, this will be the main the main line here. This will be an emergency line here, and then you got the you got this. I, I just do some research on the bean animal system. I, I'm drawing a blank on what exactly these are, but uh, but yeah, this is a 16 inch go ghost overflow. I got the got the gate valve here. And or yeah, gate valve, and then these are for the two emergency lines. And then we'll go under here. This is gonna be the main line feeding in, and comes down here. First emergency line. Oh, uh, if you guys want some good information on uh, on these unions, as you can tell, I've employed a bunch of them. Uh, bulk reef supply has uh, been a tremendous resource in terms of uh, putting this whole project together, and they said uh, if all the reefers that don't use a bunch of valves to begin with, which they would, and their second go around, they do put a bunch of valves on here. So I just did the first time. So got a Vertex 180i skimmer ready to go. This thing's going to be pretty much overkill for. Uh, actually, I don't know because I'm I'm going to have this stuffed full of full of coral and all types of other good goodies. So. I'm not going to take a minimalist approach, so this is going to be more than, more, it's going to be what I need. Alright, I uh, got the Emerald 34, uh, yeah, that's not, you, you can check that out in the other videos if you care, but uh, yeah, this is a badass sump. Alright, this is the only thing I haven't done so far yet. Um, I had a drill fitting, I'm, I was going to put it right here, but uh, it wasn't the right size, and of course I didn't check it out beforehand, but um, tomorrow morning I'll run over to Lowe's or Home Depot, because I need to get some cement for all this anyway, because like I said, this is not sealed. It's just all pressed together. I'll, I'll take this all apart tomorrow, but anyway, I got a, here, here's the return pump. This is all going to be connected. Uh, it comes up here, more unions, elbow, and then, ha, manifold. This is going to be off. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get to this, but um, I absolutely wanted to afford myself the... Wait, why don't I go over here? Um, I want to be able to have a manifold in the future, and that'll be, that'll be nice to have. Uh, more unions. Uh, here's, the, here's the check valve. Um, this, is, this is the one recommended by Bulk Reef Supply. And uh, that's going to prevent the back siphoning. Uh, whatever water is trapped in the pipe right here, th this is a big enough sump that that's going to be able to accommodate um, all the all the overflow in the event of a power outage. 
uh, come up here, doo -doo -doo, and then this. I have all this uh, completely anchored in. I got the lock line here. I might take a couple segments out, but um, and we'll we'll see. I, I wanna wanna be able to to get it away because I'm gonna be running a here. You can see it. I got a max spec gyre, and I'm gonna put it right here so it's gonna be kind of out of the viewing way. If everyone in the other room, uh, don't mind the mess. This, this, <laughs> as soon as I get this reef up and running, that, uh, that tank is getting sold. Uh, TV stand right over here is gonna, is gonna go over in that spot. I'm gonna put the TV on the wall and then, uh, couch is going. We're gonna take the, the couch from upstairs and put it down here and it's just gonna, Everything is basically going to revolve around around this tank, um, so I'm excited for the first time in in a long while since we bought the house. Really, anyway, then we'll get I get off topic. All right, so anyway, um, that's a return line. Uh, I believe they say it's a peninsula style. Is that what I think the guy said? I don't know. I I, I just I just like the idea of having my uh, my pump right here the return pump here and it's gonna be sending nice uh nice cleanly filtered water all through the system and then as soon as as soon as i tie uh the 65 gallon refugium into this um i was actually here i was originally going to here's where i deviated from the plan i was originally gonna do two pumps like this one feeding this however this brace ultimately kind of got in the way because I don't know if I just didn't look at the Iwaki pump initially, but um, I didn't realize that that shot off to the side. I thought it came straight up, so no big deal. When I do eventually uh, get to uh, get to doing this, I'll, I'll just I'll just drop another another return return pump right in here. I mean, there's plenty of room, and there's a bunch of bunch of good. Uh, energy efficient options that we can go with there so um let's see um we'll uh we'll get we'll get back into this but yeah let's let's come back over on this side for a minute um that's gonna be the viewable edge and uh yeah let's go over to this guy for a little bit i haven't really uh, my self and tank's probably mad at me. I've been kind of, I'm not going to say I'm neglecting this tank. I mean, I'm, the, the water's, the water is fine and everything like that, but yeah, I haven't cleaned the glass off in a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother showing the pods, but there is a, tr hey, hey, what's up, buddy? There are a tremendous, tremendous amount of copy pods and, uh, amphipods. This this is just absolutely crawling with it and dun dun dun. Look what we have here. I will take care of these before I put them into the new tank, uh, just because there hasn't been any coral in here in a little bit. Um, go figure. After the tank crash, uh, when we moved in between uh, the old house and the, this house, these are the freaking things that survive. Go figure, right? But uh. Uh, yeah, you just can't. Yeah, you just. It, I, I'm doing this all on an iPhone, and you just can't see. I mean, I'm I'm seeing these little little amphipods scurrying all over the place. Uh, maybe I can get a little. I got some. Got some hermit crabs. The hermit crabs actually did very well. I'm surprised of all the. Uh, they, where's the one giant one? I got a. Yeah, you can see him all the way in the back. I don't know what in the world. I don't, I'll maybe get a different, different video up of him, but I got a giant, giant hermit crab. It's got some lines. I, at some point, I'll, I'll identify him. But um, yeah, that's the. I need an, I need to get another, uh, another castle, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. I run three castles. Uh, at least I'll start out with these two because I mean you can tell. I mean there's a lot of good videos on these castles, but I mean look at look at the range. Look at the range that they have. 
I mean, my hand's right here, and you can, there you go, there's a good angle. I mean, there's the, the real definitive one, and then that, that's the coverage I'm going to have. So, at least, at least to begin with, um, this should be some good, uh, some good light penetration. That's, uh, act, to be honest with you, that's why I didn't go with the, with the 220 gallon because, um, of the light penetration. And I, frankly, I just, I don't feel like spending a thousand dollars on, on, on a light fixture. Um, not that, not that these are, not that the Kessels are cheap, but, um, I just really, really, really didn't want to equip this with, with a thousand dollars worth of lighting. I'd, I'd rather, I'm, I'm going to take that money and, and load this up with a bunch of coral frags but um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do three castles and then um i'm gonna do uh two t5 light ballasts i'm just probably gonna do double double lights i'm not gonna have the t5 be particularly the dominant light source but i i do like the idea of having uh the light dissipation plus still maintaining the shimmer and this will, uh, the, the Kessel Shimmer, it, I, I've seen videos online, I've seen pictures of it. That'll still penetrate down through the, um, the T5. But um, there's a bunch of people that are a lot smarter than me. Um, they're saying that with the T5, it diffuses light better throughout the, throughout the water column. Um, I trust their research. Like I said, they know a lot more than I do. So uh, from that standpoint, I'll I'll trust their judgment on it. But um, oh yeah, I got some got some live sand when I when I need to order literally six dollars worth of couplings to to get this whole thing going. Um, I decided just pick up uh, sixty pounds of sand. Tyson, Tyson, hey, get out of the way! Come on, yeah yeah, go go outside, go go do something. Watch out, buddy. Um, I just got some Carib sand. Um, I'm gonna get more. Um, I'm not going to do a deep sand bed. I thought about it, but, uh, I, I want to put some critters in here that are going to stir it up a little bit. And last thing I want to do is start releasing some noxious gas in here. Cause I've, eh, I'm not, I'm not going to get involved in that whole debate that everyone apparently has a opinion on. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to put a little bit of sand and have some creatures enjoy it and use it for, uh, the denitrification bacteria. Um, what else? I'm pretty sure, I think I think I got everything. Um, probably rambling on at this point. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a complete mixed reef. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, LPS, SPS. Uh, more. It's probably gonna eventually turn into SPS dominated, but. Um, that, that'll be pretty much when I end up getting a calcium reactor and all some other bunch of goodies in here, but I'll, I'll be dosing this to at least begin with. Um, yeah, fish, coral, uh, bunch of, bunch of little goodies and, uh, and that 65 gallon refugium in the back. My wife really likes, really likes the, uh, seahorses. And our local fish store has a bunch of seahorses for sale all the time. So I'm going to try to breed them in that other tank. And I'm going to have a completely separate environment with the same water uh, flowing through both systems. Hopefully uh, I have some macroalgae in the, in the refugium. And uh, I'll have some have a bunch of seahorses uh, growing in there. And then, uh, and then uh, on the other side I'll have uh, the coral coral fragging station and all that the uh, frag tank going so yeah so anyway uh sump room this is a uh, i'm at the point we got uh we got plumbing up and running so uh cheers everyone thank you for listening to me ramble on for 14 minutes and have a great night